authors that deserve more love on booktube now i've been thinking lately that while i absolutely adore the booktube community we do have a tendency to focus only on certain books meaning many amazing authors barely get talked about so i wanted to make a list of 10 authors i feel booktube should talk more about and i just want to make it clear most of these authors i haven't read any books by but i'm mentioning it due to them often being incredibly famous outside of the booktube community obviously i cannot single-handedly bring attention to all of these authors but it would be nice to see more videos on these authors i'm going to talk about just so i could get an idea of whether their books are for me or not and also initially i had 20 names on this list but i narrowed it down to 10 just to not make this video too long so this is not a ranking okay now the first author i would love to see more on booktube is raymond e feist the author of the rift war cycle which is a series that consists of around 30 books i think and has sold more than 15 million copies now this is one of those authors that any fantasy enthusiast that is over the age of like 40 has most likely read it is incredibly iconic with the first book being called the magician now i actually own the first trilogy but i haven't picked it up mostly due to not me many people talking about it now there are probably two primary reasons why he isn't talked about more now firstly this series has been around for like 40 years i think and was much more popular in the 80s and 90s so there's definitely not a bus going around as much anymore and secondly the fact that there are like 30 books in this series might be off-putting for some nonetheless i do find it interesting that not more people on booktube talk about feist secondly neil gaiman neil gaiman is arguably one of the most popular contemporary fantasy authors that doesn't get that much attention on booktube i mean the man has several adaptations and has sold more than 45 million copies and he's a genius in my opinion and Ga gaiman's writing style is some of the best out there and most of his books are standalones which means you don't have to commit to a 30 book series however i do kind of understand why people don't talk about his writing as much i mean firstly the fact that gaiman hasn't created one huge universe makes it so that there's a bit less to talk about also some of his books are written for younger audiences and are not like epic in scope now i have read i believe four gaiman books and i have really really enjoyed them the writing style is always one of my favorite things about his books but as mentioned if you want a large epic to dive into then gaiman is definitely not that another thing that is underrated on booktube is fantasy books centered around assassins and that is why i'm so excited to introduce the new gorgeous anthology by Wraith Mark, When Swords Fall Silent, which is an assassin themed anthology with a twist. 100% of net profits from the book are going to benefit St. Jude's Children's Hospital. How cool is that? This anthology is featuring 14 stories from 14 different authors. When Swords Fall Silent hosts a plethora of dark and dangerous tales from traditional and indie heavy hitters alike, even including the likes of New York Times bestseller Michael J. Sullivan, Terry Mancour, and more. Customized from head to toe in Ray's Mark's usual style, the book features a gorgeous illustrated dust jacket, a black and red foil case, and a custom character illustration for each story. Plus, every book comes with a gorgeous foil bookmark, which alone makes checking out the Kickstarter worth it. And also, I have it on good authority that fans of the Ryera Chronicles won't want to miss a certain short story in this anthology for reasons that definitely do not involve learning more about Royce's shadowy past. Thank you so much to Raidmark for sponsoring this video. I'll leave a link in the description down below for the Kickstarter. The third author that deserves more love on Booktube is definitely Ursula K. Le Guin, the author of The Ursi Cycle. Now, Le Guin is without a doubt one of the most iconic sci-fi and fantasy authors of the 20th century, with works such as A Wizard of Earthsea and The Left Hand of Darkness. Le Guin has written more than 20 books and has sold millions of copies, and is known for her work in analyzing complex themes such as identity, politics, gender, in massively ways. Now, I've only read one book by Le Guin, which is A Wizard of Earthsea, which personally didn't work that well for me. However, I definitely want to give her work another read, and even though if I come to find that she isn't an author for me later on, I th still think that she deserves so much more love on Booktube due to her influence on the genre. The fourth author is David Gemmell. Man, I don't know if I've ever seen anyone talk about this iconic fantasy author. Gemmell wrote more than I think 30 novels, selling more than 1 million copies of his work, and is most known for his book Legend, 
and his for an iconic Draenei series. Now, I haven't read any of Gemmel's work yet, and again, that's mostly due to I haven't heard that much about them. But I do find it interesting and also a bit sad how this author seems to have almost disappeared from so many people's minds. Now, if you have any recommendations on where to start with Gemmel, definitely let me know. Next up, we have R.A. Salvatore, the author of more than 80 books and most known for his Forgotten Realm series, which is the setting for Dungeons and Dragons. Literally, Drissit, I think that's how you pronounce his name, is one of the most iconic characters in fantasy, period. And I find it very strange that not more people on Booktube talk about this iconic series. Now, there is a massive, massive readership for this series, so it's not like it doesn't exist, it just doesn't seem to exist that much on Booktube, which is quite interesting. Now, this series is often being labeled as those types of fun adventure types of stories that doesn't have quite as much depth to it, but it's not intended to be too serious or so I've heard, which may be a reason for it not being talked about more. Booktubers do love dark fantasy, to be honest. Also, again, but 80 books in a series is intimidating. Now, I know you don't have to read all of them because I think most of them are split into trilogies and stuff like that, but that is a lot of books, man. Now, I saw Mike from Mike's Book Review recently read the Dark Elf trilogy and he really enjoyed it, so it might be a series that I should give a read someday. All right, we have a controversial author coming up, but that is Terry Goodkind or Goodkind. I know he has almost become an author that is popular to hate on, but Terry Goodkind has sold more than 25 million copies that is an absolutely insane amount of books considering we're talking about fantasy literature here moreover the sort of true series has like 21 novels making it an absolutely epic world to dive into i know my brother-in-law he absolutely adores this series but i haven't felt that interested in picking up this series due to almost no one talking about it ever and secondly, because he does seem to be quite a controversial author. It seems that since so many people say that his series is so similar to series such as The Wheel of Time or A Song of Ice and Fire, but it basically just has worse execution of the story, not that many people seem to be really recommending it. Also, these books are seriously chunky, so it is quite a commitment to dive into the series, and if it's just a bad Wheel of Time, then that doesn't sound that good, to be honest. But my brother-in-law swears that this is the best series he has read, so I might have to give it a read someday just to see if he's right, but only time will tell if that will ever happen. Then we have Guy Gabriel K, who is famous for novels such as the Tigana, the Fian War Tapestry Trilogy, and A Song for Our Bone, and it's one of those authors that other authors love to mention. I'm pretty sure that Neil Gaiman and Patrick Rothfuss have mentioned K as an influence in the writing, which is really high praise. However, whenever I've seen booktubers pick up K's work, they seem to be lukewarm on them, so I'm not sure if this is one of those if you're an author, you will really appreciate K kind of situation. Now, I haven't picked up any of his work, primarily due to having heard mixed reviews, but it kind of feels like he's an author I need to check out someday. Nonetheless, a very significant figure in modern fantasy that is almost never talked about. And then we have Jenny Words, who is known for having co-written the Empire Trilogy with Raymond E. Feist and being the author of the massive Wars of Light and Shadow series. Now, Words just seems to be genuinely underrated, but now more and more booktubers are starting to explore her works, and most of them are giving her books glowing praise. However, Words is also famous for her very unique prose, which can apparently be challenging to get into and then also wars of light and shadow is 12 books i believe which is again a huge commitment now i don't know much about this series which is one of the reasons why i feel it is underrated but i'll be definitely be keeping an eye on if booktube is going to start generating hype for her books and then we have a more contemporary author adrian jakowski who has written more than 30 novels i mean this man is absolutely insane i mean he publishes like two to four books a year at the moment and has written some iconic series such as the shadow of Aft, which is a 10 book fantasy series, and the Children of Time trilogy. Tchaikovsky has a huge readership, but is definitely one of those authors that doesn't seem to get much attention from Booktube, which I find a bit weird. Now, I read two books by Tchaikovsky, Shards of Earth and Dogs of War, which didn't become new favorites of mine, but I'm confident that there, there are books that he has written that I will absolutely love. I mean, Tchaikovsky is more popular in the sci-fi community, it seems like, but he has written just as many fantasy books, and 
and it's definitely one of those authors I would like to see get more attention in the booktube community. And lastly, we have Philip Pullman, the author of the best-selling series His Dark Materials, which I believe has sold more than 18 million copies, and he has received a couple of adap adaptations as well. Now, I'm pretty sure that the primary reason why people don't talk more about the series is due to it being YA, but nonetheless, I remember reading this series in my early teens and I just loved it. This series filled my mind with imagination and has some of the best animal companions I have ever come across in fantasy. It's also one of the most iconic modern fantasy series along with Harry Potter. So it's a bit weird that it's not talked about more. But that is it. There are so, so, so many authors I could have mentioned here. But I just wanted to keep this list to 10 authors, not just not to make this video too long. Now, do you agree with this list or which author would you have added to this list? And as always, thank you so much for watching and a special thanks to my patrons who support what I do here. I really appreciate it.